Hey kids, we're gonna do something. We gotta talk about something too. Stick around. In a world where everyone seems to be in a hurry, there is a place where things aren't quite as hectic. Here, a father and daughter have teamed up to breathe new life into relics from the past. Now it's time to meet Peyton. She's not your average teenager. Since she was old enough to hold a wrench, she's been in the garage learning the art of car restoration from her father, Chad, a seasoned Army veteran with a head full of knowledge and a passion for classic cars. With each new project, Peyton learns the values of hard work, patience, and the pride that comes with doing something yourself. In their garage, it's not just about the cars, it's about family, memories, and the love of the open road. Welcome to Honest Peyton's Speed Shop. So today <clears throat> we're going to talk a little bit about politics and uh, these are my, this is the platform that uh, we're going with and that's the only time I'm going to talk about it. Bonnie and Clyde, 2024. I don't know. I don't think they can run. I think they died, but you know, it's still, it's a thing. Um, so I went to the auto parts store today. I'm not going to say which one, but I think we know which one. Why do you put a tab? Why do they put tabs on things? They don't actually open the things that you put the tabs on. Yeah. Well, anyway, go to the auto parts store and to get a belt. Bonnie needs a belt. Go in, have the belt. Say, hey, man, stop. I need a belt. Looks at me like this. I don't know what that means. But I wasn't, I wasn't confident. So, hand him the belt, and he goes, well, we don't have it. I can get it for you. That fly the foreman left in here is still there. I was like, well, I can get, I can do that. So, I didn't get a belt. So now I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna, I, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna have to start ordering everything. Anyway, it's my two cents for the day. But we are actually going to do something. Plugs. We're going to change plugs on uh, on Bonnie, and that's that's what we're going to do. We're also going to do a little gapping of the plugs because I have this one. I picked this up, though. They did have this. This was nice. I'm going to put this somewhere. I'm going to hook it probably. Yeah, i got a hook over there. I'm going to put it on the thing. So we're going to use this. We're going to do that right now. Now, it's a beautiful day out there. It's like 84. Yeah, September, that's pretty cool. Now, remember what we were dealing with? We had a little rich, right? You know, that was okay. And then we had this guy. I don't think that's normal. Plus, I mean, look, you know, stuff's definitely... <laughs> here, let me look. Stuff's definitely coming out of there. You know, I mean, this one doesn't have that. That flies, you know. I'll be my friend. So I think we had a little problem here and maybe that's why I rolled the light and maybe not, but you know what? I guess we'll never know. Can't use that guy again. Oh, you don't want you to change spark plugs. Yeah, your spark plugs. So I ordered these because they'll be hot in the town. These are the ones I'm putting in there. Yep, I had eight of them. And Bonnie's an eight cylinder, right? You got spark plug wrench from uh, socket from before, you know, fits in there. The other thing I'm going to do is this gap worked pretty well for us. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of check and see where it's at. Oh, <laughs> right there. You know what the worst part is? I'm going to my glasses on. Hi. And that one is at... Like 37 thousandths. Which is fine. 
Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe it's something else. 30, 37 thousandths. That's okay. We can do that. Now, there's a mark on there. <laughs> That's good because these don't, these don't work like they used to. All right, quick gap of a spark plug. Here's a spark plug. Got your thinger. And then you just, <laughs> it's already gapped right to where it's probably going to be. Nope, not even close. So, how do we ungap it? Well, there's a couple ways you can do it. One, of course, hit it with a hammer. Don't do that. Hold on a second. Never mind. I don't know what they did. But, the gap is. That's a 45. You can literally just take this guy. Give it a little push. Give it a little push. Don't push too hard. Give it a little push down there. Easy. Easy. All right, what I did was I went and checked these again. And there was gun cooling up so I put it back on there and I'm right at 40 so check this guy again and I'm right at 40 so just pop it in there you know you gotta get in there now, I don't have the plug wires yet that's all right you know So, once we get them all the way in there, we take our friend socket and we make sure we're tightening. And then we give it a nice snug. Put your wire back on. And D U N. We do that eight more times, seven, I have a nine cylinder, seven more times, see you in a minute. I just pulled out number two, three, four, five, six, seven, it looks pretty good. I mean, that's not bad at all, right there, see? Anyway, now this one is pretty close, so let's see where we're at. I'm just going to throw that on the floor. By that I mean this. Yeah, that one was a little bit closer. That was at like 38, 37. So, let's throw things in the floor. It's fine. Okay, see you in a minute. Also not too bad, this was number eight. So, that's pretty good. This side was all pretty good. <clears throat> now, just make sure when you put your spark plug wires back, back on that they seat real good and they click. So, and then hey, quick question for you. Who else was taught that you take your old spark plugs and you put them back in the box before you get rid of them? And then, and you put them back in this box, and then you throw the whole thing away. Down in the comments. Is that how you learned it? Let me know. I really want to know, because that's how I was taught. Something else you don't want to do. You don't want to get anything cross-threaded, so just take your time. So as you can see here, let me show you. There's not a lot of room right here but in the header, right? So and I've got big paws. So I get them in there, right? Sometimes. I don't want to fit right away. So you just take your time. Get them started and tighten them down. On the driver's side, it's really not much different. Except we have one back there. Now there's our steering shaft right here too. You see that? So there's one here. 
So I'm gonna show you what you can do if your ratchet doesn't fit. So stick around a second, let me get ready. Hello, welcome to Bonnie's House of Wonderment. I'm Chad, I'm your host. You might wonder where Peyton is. You know what, aren't we up? No, I didn't even touch one. All right, so first you gotta get your paw in here. Right, right in here. All right, so I don't have enough room to get my paw in there, really. So what we can do then is we can go over to Peyton's toolbox to get the pliers, or we can try the other hand. Other hand, maybe. Gotta get strong hand in there, okay. Strong hand this time, okay. Now, let's put this down, ready? It's gonna be quick. Okay, <laughs> yeah. All right, so we can get in here. Oh, look at that, we can get in there, sort of. Not really. So what I do in that instance is you take your spark plug socket, find a wrench that goes on there, right? And that's tightening. Well, that's tightening, that's loosening. You put it down here like this, you get your, get your good old uh, socket set on there, like that, click it on, get your wrench on, and then, uh-oh, oh, oh yeah, like down here, you get below the header, and then you just use your strong hand. Like that. See? Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, now it's not gonna be as easy as you know, doing your ratchet out. So you just kind of have to nice and slow, nice and easy. Gotta problem solve stuff, right? Right. And now we can still keep going, apparently. Now putting it back in might be difficult, might not be. I guess we'll find out. Stick around. Ah. All right, we're on number four, but look at how good that one was running. Huh? Look at that. You guys see that? Huh? It's pretty good. The other side a little rich, this side just you know, it's richy, but not too bad. Let's see what this gap is at. <clears throat> Same, 40. Perfect. Eh. Now for that plug, I actually just put the, the socket on it and I put it in there so I could have something a little bit heavier to grab onto. And we tighten it up with our wrench. And we're still taking our, making sure that we're not um, cross-threading. Let me just give her a little, like that. Take the socket out, find your wire, because it, you know, went home. And you just click her on there. Maybe. Nope, not, not like that. You don't do that. Click it on there. Do the rest of these. So, as I'm sitting here, thinking to myself, self, you ever wish you could play music in your shop when you, this is going on? And I say to myself, yeah, I do. All right, so this is number one. We already showed you number one. I'm not checking the gaps on the ones coming out anymore. But I am checking these I go for it to go in. Now I will say that these are, all the ones that I put in are all within, all right, pretty much at the gap, so. Mm -hmm. So we got two more to go. You might say to yourself, Chad, how come you have those uh, extensions on all the time? Well, number one, I like them. And number two, I don't wanna back, I'm tired of bash my fingers up against these headers. They're pretty, you know, pretty bendy. Right where you kind of need to be. So 
That's okay. And this one, the long one wouldn't fit. And I'm not sure I could get the wrench in there either. So I had to make do with what I had, right? So then sometimes this pays off to, oh yeah, boom, son, that one was good. All right, almost done. Another quick tip. If for some reason, if you're feeling with a lot of weird resistance or something, don't force it, especially at the beginning. Don't force it. Now, as you get further into it, you know, you can be, but make sure that you're not cross-threading these because if you cross-thread that, now well, you got yourself a problem. And you got yourself a very pretty yard ornament. All right, almost done. All right, change the spark plugs, very easy. You can see there's a lot of goop on that one. That one too. Change spark plugs, very, very easy. Anyway, what you, I didn't really need a whole lot, you know. I got a uh, 3 8 ratchet. 3 8 ratchet. Ooh, this is a. <laughs> I've, uh, I've worn it off. Um, it's like. 916s, if I remember right. Could be 5 eighths. I think it's 5 eighths. So, uh, spark plug socket, a couple of extensions, and then the wrench that fit on here after I hit that was a three quarter. Don't be afraid to use the old noggin to problem solve. Well, one thing left to do is clean up. Be right back. And simply when you're done, you take your four plugs you put back in the box, put it in this box, and then you can just, those were no good anymore. Now, not a very dirty job, but sponsored today's video will help you out. It doesn't help you. Breezy's Garage, world famous. Hands and tools, grip wipes. Now, once you get these in your, get them to your shop, what you gotta do, you know, send one up there, all right? Pull it out of here. Yeah, like that. And if you pull too far, you know, just open her back up and you go. Yeah, you gotta make the sound or it doesn't work right. Then you just float it down. Now you can see, not too bad at all. Talked old Greasy today. Did you guys check out his uh, Project Merca truck? No? Project Merca. Anyway, you know where to get them? Greasygarage.com. Use that promo code, save yourself some dough. It'll be on the screen. Project Merca truck. 64. It's an F100 anyway. I had one. I had a 64. I think his is a 64 as well. Uh, mine was a long box. This was a short box. Uh, his is teal. American flag on the hood. You know. Can't get enough of that. See? Check it out. Boom. Just go get them right after the video. I'll have a link down with it. Close enough. I mean, I made part of it. See, it's in the thing. All right. So anyway, what do we do? Simple spark plug change. I don't have wires yet. I also don't have a belt. Apparently V-belts aren't a thing to find anymore. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this uh, short video on chain spark plugs. We changed them all. Having a peach beverage. It's just water with powder in there. Sun gets peach. And ice cubes. Don't forget to uh, check out buddies on the thing there. Yeah, do that. Bunch of great channels, bunch of great guys. Um, and 
Also, don't forget to go to check out Greasy's build. I'll put it up in the row somewhere. You'll see it. These, clean up your shop when you're done. Don't forget to uh, hit the thing and do the, and anyway, time for dinner. Keep on wrenching kids.